the millionaire in the making. I mean, I, I watch your TikToks. You don't really talk about how many hours a day you work. You didn't talk about how many hours a day you worked on average when you first got started. And that work day, if you're going to hit a millionaire by the point that you want to hit it, you're not working an eight hour, eight hour work day. You're not working a nine to five. You're That's not doing Monday to Friday. You're not doing federal right. holidays where you're off. You're working your ass off. And so, I think it's really important to talk about that. That's why he's here right now, because he's like the spitting image version of myself when I was 21. And that's why I pretty much brought him around you guys, because he's doing exactly what I was doing, but with social media that I was doing in real well, estate. Well, and I know you're probably, how many hours a day do you work on average? More, prime, more okay. than nine hours. So, eight hour prime example. Shift, sure. I started. I started yesterday at about eight a.m. Okay, and uh, we didn't finish recording until about two a.m. yesterday. So we put in. That's a right. you know, That's a sixteen plus hour day. Yeah. When I mm-hmm. clocked out at two a.m., he still did another hour's worth of video. Well, and you're doing the editing. You're putting everything together. No, he did a whole other company. A whole other yeah, side. This stuff. is a whole other side company that he has. He way okay. Let's put it this way. He's got his is millionaire that the in the making. The best best. So he's got his millionaire in the making. He's got his day job that you sometimes work. What other, th- your marketing business, God, I can't even keep up. You're kind of like me. You got so many different things going on. He didn't have that much actual extra time. So at two to three o'clock in the morning, he works on his final company. And that's exactly what I was doing when I was 21, where it was like, okay, I just banged out eight hours of cold calls. Now I'm going to go do two or three listing appointments. After that, I'm going to go to the gym. After that, I'm going to go socialize with one of my friends. After that, when it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, and i got to get up at 6, I'm going to do two or three hours with the paperwork that I neglected throughout the whole day, where it was like, okay, dope, I got three hours of sleep last night, four hours of sleep. Screw it. One day I'm not going to have to do this. Well, right. and I know I, was, I had a conversation with someone the other day where they were kind of picking on you, and they're like, why are you even friends with him? And I was like, so Justin and I have been friends, for anyone that doesn't know, for about eight or nine years now. And when you were first starting in real estate, I was getting started in insurance. When he was making those cold calls, when he would get those listings, one of the first things he would do would say, hey, I have my girl who's insurance. Give her a call. She can get your insurance premiums down. And then that's going to help make your listing look even better. So he wasn't just doing the work for himself, but he's always consistently Mm. been trying to refer people out and trying to help his friends come up as well. But I think in the age where you are right now, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I give to people that are working really hard is to be very, very careful of the partners that you pick. Because if you get the wrong female, she can completely derail you. She can add a lot of stress. She can add a lot of anxiety Preach. anxiety to your life. You're not going to be able to work as efficiently when you've got this other shit going on in the back of your head. And guys, I mean, y'all are y'all don't multitask quite the same state that we do because I can be pissed off and upset about stuff in the background, but I can still be working. It's so right. much harder for you guys to do that. So I think for men who are in their early 20s, it's so critical for you to pick someone. I feel like it's riskier for you guys too be because you do have yes. to go for those younger girls yes. where we are more selective, so, which are young, so older men. So let me back this up and just reinforce everything she just said because she gave me that exact same advice three years ago when I went to go wife up a high-risk activity <coughs> female who almost burned my entire empire down. And after Literally. three years, she's still a problem after being broken up with for a year. So me ignoring her advice right then and there cost me almost three years of growth and development. I still was grinding, but I was like I had nothing but resistance pulling me back because yep. I had a female actively trying to destroy my social life, Your actively trying to destroy my mental health, actively trying to destroy my finances. Every aspect of my life, this girl said, I'm going to hurt you. Versus if that at that age, you would have picked a girl who had the same vision as you did, who said, okay, I'm going to help cook meals. I'm going to do grocery shopping. I'm going to do everything around the day that takes away from what you have to do. I'd be probably mm-hmm. worth an extra 500 grand million right now. Oh, absolutely. Easily. 